Hey guys, my name is Surya Pratap Singh and today I'm going to present you my project for CS470 which is Movie Recommendation System. So first let's run the application. So how do we run this application? So first you need to install all the libraries which are here in this requirements folder which is Flask, Unicorn, sklearn and Pandas. So you need to have these libraries in order to run this program and it's based on python so python must be installed on your computer so how do we run it so we just open command prompt in the same directory as the program and we run this command last run so when you run this command it gives you a server the web server which is a local host and after we run this server which is here this one after we run this server we get this result so the front page has a search bar movies you may like and popular movies so let's search a movie on this one so what supposedly I'm searching Avengers the Avengers and I get three results when I search the movie so the three results are based on the movie Avengers so we get results the Avengers Age of Ultron, Captain America, Iron Man 2. As you can see all these movies are related to Avengers so the recommendations are correct and accurate and also you can see the YouTube video is playing which is the trailer of the movie and the series description is also there in all those three cards are it's all in all those three cards so how's this happening I'm gonna talk about it in the later part of the video so let's go back to the home page and let's look at the code right now so let's look at the code how the app is working so in order to understand this is so I'm using a data set with 5000 movies which I downloaded from Kegel I wanted to use an API but I couldn't use an API directly to implement my machine learning model so first I am using count vectorizer to create a count matrix what I'm doing with count vectorizer is create a count vector with English stop words and fit and transform over the soup column what is soup column soup column has all those um, all all the keywords related to the movie let's open the data set which we are I'm using and I'll show you what the, what the soup column has so soup column has all the keywords related to the movie as you can see drug abuse spy based so all those keywords which are related to the movies so that's that's what I did like I use count vectorizer and fit transform over that soup column after that I use cosine similarity to create a similarity score why why didn't I use any other similarity scores to calculate so cosine similarity basically is in mathematical terms it measures the cosine of angle between two vectors projected in multi-dimensional space so how is this advantageous the cosine similarity is advantageous because even if the two similar documents are far apart by a Euclidean distance due to the sizes of the document because the sizes can be large and it can be far apart but chances are they are still closely oriented so what does cosine similarity does is check how similar the document are irrespective of their sizes so this is what is happening basically in the code and after that I return about 10 movies using the similarity scores which are similar to the search movie so this is what is happening so we, we get output of 10 movies of the similar movie which are related to the search movie after that I return all the things which are related to that particular movie like title release date fort average overview keywords ID ID is very important because ID connects the database to the movie the movie database API so let me explain you what does API does how does the API works so in order to understand API you need to have some knowledge about JavaScript so I need to I learned about it and worked accordingly so what I'm doing is right here what I'm doing is fetching the movie URL using the movie ID so movie ID is a list which is returned by the Python program so it returns 10 movies so I'm getting 
I'm fetching the movie which is zero like the first movie and putting in the API and searching it on the API and after the search is completed the the, the particular API results is being directly transferred to my HTML page in this part of the code it's directly projected as a poster and in order to get the API key which is this one you need to be registered on the website the movie database which is a website which is open source which is um, which is an open source website in which multiple users contribute to the database due to which it's updated almost every day so this is particularly for poster I can get anything out of that database using the movie ID so I can get cast of the movie I can get information about the movie and I can get anything so also I using that same command I have got the YouTube trailer of that particular movie like I have pass the movie ID and use the API and use some JavaScript with it in order to get the code in order to get the video working properly on that on that particular website which I have created so so I've told you about like how the output part is working now let's let me tell you how the movie you may like is working so what is happening here is whatever user searches it gets stored in a CSV file so based on that based on that these movies are shown like based on the user search these movies are these movies are shown so so I, I researched about it like I read how Netflix is doing it. Netflix records everything related to the user all the database and recommends the movies accordingly and also YouTube does the same thing all the likes comments and all the views you have it recommends you videos and movies on the basis of that so I have used that I only had one input from the user which was the search part so I have utilized that and created a CSV file using the particular search and after that you get this output movies you may like so suppose you refresh it the chances are you get new recommendations so refresh again the same recommendation it might be same it might be different so the popular movies so in popular movies is just making a call to the API and getting the list of movies and using HTML and CSS I'm um, showing them using their posters and the rating of those particular movies these are popular movies or you can say latest movies which are there right now it's just by making a call to the API and getting the results so it can be updated every day as the API updates these movies updates so so graphics of the website like I took help from a lot of sources as code pen other HTML CSS sources and like as you can see everything every like the card is different this card is different so I had to experiment a lot which card suits the most and I I done that and when you search a movie it gives you like options as well like which movie you want like uh, suggestions actually it gives you suggestion this is done also by API calls and API calls and also by JavaScript so when you search a movie so the, the cards are different than the front page this is because that I have used different card here and some JavaScript as well like it gives you description video so that is what is happening here it took a lot let's see now that uh, the movie you may like has been changed again so it took a lot of time to decide the CSS and HTML and learn JavaScript and API as well so what I wanted to in future is like create a multi-user experience so that like right now a single user can experience a different experience as like when he searches it gets recommendations according to that on the front page but when a multi-user experience multi-user comes in part then the the multi-user experience will be different because every user will have a different experience and have a different set of movie you may like a recommendation uh, a different set of recommendation of movies and I also wanted to and I also mm, like there are only three movies which are shown in the output I wanted to create 
a website through which like more than three movies can be shown like right now the complexity was CSS and HTML which I had to dealt with but in the future I can do is like create a multi-user experience create more resources through which data can be uh, collected and be implemented accordingly so this was pretty much it what I have done and what I wanted to do thank you for watching the video have a good day